guys. I just fired up the big hard castle brayer, which is a beauty. And tonight I'm smoking McClintock's Black Sea. I'll show you that bottle. And I've got it in, that's it. It's a lovely, lovely tobacco. In the jar the smell is beautiful, really dark cherry, fruity smell. Like a lot of other black cherries. It's very smoky tobacco, which I personally like. It's sweet. Nice sweetness, not too sweet, but fairly sweet. Uh, a lot of people have suggested that it would make a good beginner's tobacco because it's quite mild. Not as mild as some of your sort of Danish, German made thing, uh, Danish, uh, mildish blends, but it's, it's, it's got a lot of body in it. Not nicotine wise, not sort of tarry wise, not like your Lakelands, but for what it is, it's very nice. Mainly double fermented black cavendish. dish. There's a few flecks in the blend as well, which look like just ordinary Virginia, but uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, they just bill it as, as double fermented black cavendish. dish. But obviously they've added something. It looks like a, just a few flecks of Golden Virginia as well. But, um, like all mildish aromatics, you don't need to smoke it too fast or it's going to get hot. This is okay, about halfway down and it's it's not too warm. But it is a big robust English made briar. Not bad at all. That's what you need when you're listening to the birds. Still cold today. Beautiful out though. Blackbirds and the wood pigeons and the chaffinches. There's a there's a jack door up there. She's looking for some food. Blue sky at the moment, but I think we're going to be getting some rain soon. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, mention this tobacco. If you're new to tobacco, it would uh, probably suit you down to the ground because it's not going to knock your legs off with any big nicotine kick like a Lakeland may do. But uh, to just give you the means to get into the into the uh, hobby without too much trouble. It really has got a, a good cherry kick to it. If you don't like black cherry you're not going to like it. But I say the, the smell in the packet is really good. The billiters with coffee flavour and uh, I think whiskey as well but uh, it really is quite a strong fruity aroma. You know plums, figs, that type of thing. These Danish blends they really do like to get stuck into the, the different flavours. Myself I'm more of a pure tobaccoist as most people know with the Lakelands but this ain't bad at all, it's okay you need to smoke it in a pretty big pipe if you're an experienced pipe smoker or else you're, you're going to find that it burns down rather fast anyway, enough rambling from me I shall continue with this and bid you a good farewell good evening Thanks for watching guys.